In this lecture, I'm going to continue the small signal models. Now, in this uh, lecture, we'll see the small signal model for common base configuration. So, it will be like this. This base terminal is common to both, that is, emitter as well as collector terminal. Now, previously, I had already discussed whenever the base to emitter junction is followed by us, it will be represented by the emitter. I mean base to emitter resistance or diode equivalent resistance which is see I am giving now to the input to the emitter so there is a, some forward resistance at the base to emitter junction which is called RAC so I am representing by RE because I am giving input to the emitter so that's why it is becoming RE if we see in the previous uh, lecture there is pi model this R repre RE represented by R pi in the common emitter configuration now if input is applying at the in emitter so there is a emitter current now if we go to output side that is collector current IC we know that collector current is alpha times IE so IC will become now alpha times IE now whenever we go for uh, AC analysis DC sources will be grounded so RC will become ground by like this so when we take output so i will take the output like this so if you see this it is looking like a t so it is a t model or re model now in this we neglected the early effect if we include early effect we have to include a small r naught between collector and emitter so that will include small or not so the to find voltage gain to find output impedance so we need to include the r naught when we have to include the early effect so that is about the t model or re model so whenever we are uh, uh, dealing with the common base configuration t model is the best model to find the parameters of the amplifier now what is re how to find re is it is in the previous lecture we have seen R pi was Vt by Ib so whenever we are looking into the base so this is become R pi so Vt by Ib so when we are looking into the emitter so Vt by emitter current or we can say from the diode current equation so we got Id is equal to Is into E power Vd by eta Vt so how to find the resistance so delta Vd by delta Id by delta Vd so it will become Es Vd by eta Vt into 1 by eta vt so which is nothing but id so i need delta vd by delta id so it will become eta vt by i so in this case the input current is emitter so uh, anyway eta is equal to 1 for larger current so it will become vt by ie which is nothing but r e now similarly if we draw for the common con collector configuration that is input we will give at the emitter sorry base and we will take the output at the emitter so that's why it is called load resistance or we can say re also and the collector is common to both input as well as output so that's why it is called common con common collector configuration <coughs> now previously we have seen when we give input to the base so there is a r pi between base and emitter now so what is the collector current that is we know in terms of beta times ib similarly at the emitter there is a resistance which is grounded so we will take v naught right so this is generally in common collector also we will use the pi model only to find the parameters of the amplifier <coughs> now we will see one by one configurations so what are the input impedance output impedance etc so first we will see the common emitter configuration so if we take common emitter amplifier or emitter configuration so this is the emitter is grounded i will give input to the base and with respect to rc there is some vcc suppose simple amplifier is like this so what is the equivalent model it will become r pi this is a become beta times ib if if we are neglecting the uh, early effect so only rc will be there this is at the output side v naught this is at the input side now if we find the input impedance so 
if you see the input side this ri is simply r pi only which is nothing but vt by ib now if we see at the output side this will become r out or r not is equal to simply rc only reason is so whenever we want to find the output resistance make sure our input voltage is zero whenever input is voltage zero the correct current will be zero now next one is finding the voltage gain so what is v not so beta times ib is coming in the inward so v not will become like this so v not is equal to minus beta times ib into rc but what is ib so it is vi by r pi so if i replace v not is equal to minus beta into rc by vi by r pi so v not by vi is equal to minus beta times rc by r pi is the voltage gain but if i see <coughs> relation between r pi and re it will become beta plus 1 times of re so you can remember this so how we got is we know that r pi is equal to vt by ib and rv we know vt by i so what is the relationship between iv and ib so i e i can replace with beta plus 1 times of ib so if we replace here i will get r pi is equal to beta plus 1 times of r e <coughs> so so i will get v not by vi is equal to minus beta times rc by r pi which is nothing but beta plus 1 times of r e if i approximate beta plus 1 is equal to beta so get this approximately it will be minus rc by r e which is also be written minus gm times of rc that is the gain a not r e a so what is r e here r e i can replace with 1 by gm or gm is equal to 1 by r e now we know r e is equal to 1 by gm and r e was vt by ie so what i can take gm is equal to vt by no it is ie by vt or some cases they will use gm is equal to ic by vt also because ic is approximately ie so this is a gm time gm how to find gm or how to find re now we have seen input impedance r i is equal to r pi output impedance r not is equal to r c and gain is equal to minus g m into r c r minus r c by r e so this is about the common emitter configuration so we can say r pi is in terms of kilo ohms range so input impedance is kilo ohms range output is in, in terms of r c only right so that's why the common emitter amplifier input impedance and output impedance are generally it is called moderate and the voltage gain is high right in the next lecture we'll see for common base as well as common collector configurations okay.